Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have the Best of Beauty 2016. So I'm gonna share with you my favorite products of 2016. So there's gonna be high-end drugstore and also beauty, like skincare, a little bit of hair care. Just things that I've been loving throughout the year that I wanted to share with you. So let's start with primers. The drugstore is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Primer. I use this all the time in my tutorials just because it gives you that glow from within. It looks absolutely amazing. It doesn't have the best lasting power, but I just love love the glow. For my high end, I have the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. This is amazing. This is the sample size and it's a little bit ratty with the packaging because I have used it and traveled with it, but this is unlike anything else. This smooths out your skin. It perfects it. It gives it a luminous glow from within. It is beautiful and you should definitely try it if you haven't. You can pick up the little one for I think around $20 and it lasts a really long time as well. Okay, so a third primer I feel like I need to mention is one that I use if I need longevity with my makeup. So if I have a 12 hour day or I need to go somewhere all day long and I need my makeup to last, I use this. This is the Makeup Forever High Definition Primer. It doesn't look like much. It's just, it's not like a pore filling one or anything like that. It just makes my makeup last so long. So I thought I'd mention that one. Another one I feel like I need to mention is the NYX Photo Loving Primer. This one fills in your pores. It's a silicon based primer and it looks amazing. It does help with the longevity of your makeup as well. So that's two high end two drugstore. This is why this is gonna take so long. I have so many foundations that I want to mention, but I've narrowed it down to five. <laughs> my all time favorite, if I've got something on that I need my makeup to last all day long, look perfect is the MAC Pro Longwear. I use the color NC35 for when I'm tan. This lasts unbelievably on me. It looks perfect. Um, it lasts through sweat and everything. It is amazing. I can't say enough good stuff about this. I will, this is my holy grail. Like I always use it. <laughs> Next in the longevity range would be the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. I wore this to an event one day and I was sweating and everything like that. And my makeup still looked perfect at the end of the day. I have the color Nude. Love that one. Really easy to blend out. I use the brush that it comes with for this one. For my day-to-day -day going to work face, I love using the, this bottle is trash, but this one matches me when I'm tanned and I use the other color. I think it's like true beige or something during the week for when my tan fades. It's full coverage, long lasting. It blends out really easily and it's great for everyday wear. Another one that I love, this one doesn't have as good uh, of a longevity, but it's the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. This is in the shade 4D4W. This matches my tan perfectly. I don't think I have a foundation that matches me so well, and that's one of the reasons why I love it. I love that it has like a little bit of gold shimmer in it and it just illuminates my face. Really great coverage, and yeah, love that one. And then I wanna mention the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. I have the shade 28 Bisque Taupe. I could go upper shade for when I'm tan, but it does look pretty good on me but it just it's unbelievable like how it looks on my skin is just incredible like it just blends out so flawlessly makes my skin look so beautiful and that's why I love that foundation and I know it's like a hundred dollars but I use it when I have like a special event it's not super long lasting like I would consider maybe six hours is kind of the the prime time to wear it. Okay, so I've got four concealers, two high-end, two drugstore. Oh, I feel like I could mention more. But I'm gonna start out with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This, like the Pro Longwear Foundation, it's what I use if I need it to last all day. It lasts really, really well. I have the color NW20, but I also have, is it NC15 or NW15? I can't remember which one I have as well for a lighter skin. It's only new to me, so but I usually use this one anyway. When I first got it, I was just like, meh, but I do really love it for the longevity and it does, it does really work quite well at covering the under eye circles and highlighting and things like that. Drugstore Master Conceal by Maybelline. Wow, this concealer is absolutely amazing. It is so good. This one's the light medium, but I also have the fair. The fair is probably a little bit too fair for me when I'm tan, and this one's probably not quite bright enough to super highlight as much as I'd like. So I kind of need to probably mix them. Amazing concealer for underneath the eyes. Um, blends out perfectly, so easily. You can just use your finger to blend it out. Great coverage and yeah, and it's drugstore. Next is the NARS 
oh, what is this called? Radiant Creamy Concealer. This one is in vanilla and I am running out of this and I have another backup, but I haven't been using it as much because I'm running out, but this concealer is so beautiful. Definitely worth the price tag, in my opinion anyway. Yeah, it is amazing, great coverage, longevity is amazing. It really easy to blend out as well. If you watch my videos, you know I'm going to mention this. This is a NYX Dark Circle Eraser in Fair. This is so beautiful. Um, it's got a really thin consistency, so it's great for under the eyes. Uh, covers the dark circles. Okay, I've got a drugstore and high-end brow product. I have the Chi Chi Brow Pomade in Taupe. I love brow pomades, and the other one is the Benefit Car Brow in number three. This color matches me perfectly. I feel like this taupe color, I used it the other day in a tutorial and I feel like it doesn't match me as good anymore but when I first got this and, and started using it I was just so in love and I know that even in my vlog someone was like Crystal your brows have never looked better and I'm like I'm so glad someone noticed. Now it's it's probably like over a year old. I've still got a lot of product left, but I feel like the, obviously the consistency changes with the pomade. I feel like this dried up quite quickly, but you can of course use a setting spray to liven it up. Use it on your brush or in the actual pot and then it'll bring it back to life or even mix in the, um, the Inglot Duraline with it. Is that what it's called? Mix that in and it'll come back to life again. But I love this color, love the consistency. Homemades are just my jam. <laughs> I do want to mention a powder, the Sigma Medium Brow Powder. If I use a powder, this is the one that I use. I don't know what it is about it, but it's super pigmented and the colors, I know it doesn't look like that much, but the colors work really, really well together and I really just love it. I used this daily for so, so long. I love using it with the MAC 263 brush, which is actually a liner brush, but I love using it with this because you get a really nice tail on the ends. I have all new products on my face today, so I'm not wearing any of these. <laughs> Some brow gels that I really love, the Benefit 3D Brow Tins. When I first got this, I was just like, oh great, it's like a colored brow gel. But what this does is, this is in shade four, because I use the number three pomade, and then I go over with this, it kind of like, gives my brows some low lights. If you have darker brows, you use the number two or three and it gives your brows some highlights. It also helps keep your brows in place and I love the, the little wand. Like this little spoolie on the end is amazing. I do use that all the time. Another brow gel is the Essence Make Me Brow. This little thing is just amazing. Um, I have light, medium, light no blondie brows and i feel like i could go the dark one as the other product does this highlights them even a little bit more i really really love this product and it's super cheap as well two eye bases that i love the mac soft ochre paint pot i use this daily because i've had it for a while and it still hasn't hit pan or run out or anything it has dried up a little bit and sometimes it can get a bit gunky i figure i'm just gonna use it because i've got it but when i first open it up wow it was so creamy it was so beautiful it matches my skin perfectly so it's really great to use as an eye base and it keeps my eyeshadow on really well the other one is the essence i love stage eyeshadow base now you can't get this in australia anymore but you can get it from overseas i went to ulta in the us and they still have it there but for some reason they don't have it here and i know in places like germany i think that you guys will still have it there as well my two favorite baking powders are the celebrate loose mineral finishing powder. I have light medium. This is amazing. Now I got it from a website, the Merin website, M-E-H-R-O-N. I love this. It's super silky and it's lasted me well over a year, well over a year. The other one is the Rimmel Match Perfection Silky Loose Face Powder, and this is perfect for baking. I'm actually nearly out of this as well. I use this on a regular basis, and both of these don't show up in flashback, so that's why I like using them. They're just really lovely to bake with, and they make sure that my under eyes don't crease. Face powders, I have two, and they're both drugstore, so the Australis Fresh and Flawless Pressed Powder. I have all colors. This one here in particular is light beige. 
because it hasn't hit pan yet. <laughs> um, and then the other one is the L'Oreal True Match in N4. This one matches me tanned and I use medium tan in this one for when I am tanned. <laughs> I said tan like too many times then. Both of these are really great. Um, they give a bit of extra coverage, which is what I love. And they also have a really great longevity on your face. Uh, they keep my oils at bay and I just love them. Two blushes. Uh, if you watch my channel, you'll know what these are. Milani Luminoso. This is just the most perfect blush. Like you need this in your life, <laughs> especially if you have a complexion similar to mine, you will love this blush. I, it goes with everything. I always use it on special occasions or, you know, something that I'm like, ah, oh, you know, it always looks good. The other one is the L'Oreal Le Blush in Centerwood Pink 120. Love this blush. Also, it's, it's quite more pink and this one is a bit more peach kind of thing. So yeah, both of these blushes are gorgeous and they have a bit of a sheen to them. So they kind of like illuminate your face as well. I feel like nothing else really compares to this highlighter. It is the Becca Champagne Pop. I also have Opal. I use them both all the time, but I did just try the Sleek Solstice palette today. Got that on today. That I would probably put that in my favorites if I used it all last year, but I didn't. I only used it today, it's 2017. But this, if I need glow, I just go to this. Like it, they're so pricey, but they're worth it. I've had this from when it first came out in Australia. I pre-ordered it and it came and I've been using it ever since. Definitely worth the money. I do really like the highlighters in the Carly Bible palette, but I haven't been using it that much like from the end of the year. That one probably would be my second favorite, actually the Carly Bible one. I just want to mention some mascaras real quickly. I have been loving the Max Factor Masterpiece mascaras. I've got two here. So I've got the Glamour Extensions 3-in-1 uh, Volumizing Mascara. So this one comes with like a bit of a thin wand and this one is it's great. I love it because you can get right into your lash line. And then this one is the high volume and definition mascara. I wouldn't say high volume, but it definitely separates my lashes. I really do love this mascara as well. The other one, I you can't get this unless you get it online, like on eBay. They don't have it in stores anymore, but it's the L'Oreal Shocking Extensions Mascara. It's the waterproof telescopic one. And I love this for the wand and the formula. It doesn't budge. Like it literally doesn't budge. I have to wear a waterproof mascara or a long wearing one because of the length of my lashes it comes up here during the day or even down here if I don't wear a waterproof one um so many <laughs> mascaras do that but yeah you can't get this one in stores which is really really annoying so yeah you have to troll eBay or something a couple worth mentioning is the L'Oreal Lash Architect in waterproof do like that one and the Nude by Nature also I really do like okay so I've got some palettes here I'm gonna go through them contour Shade and Light by Kat Von D. I use this all the time. Um, these three colors down the bottom. I don't so much use the top ones. De definitely don't use this one, this peachy colored one here, but I love the contour shades. I love the pan size, love the formula, love the colors. It is amazing, definitely worth the money. And the rest are actually eyeshadow palettes. I want to mention the BH Cosmetics Shanex O palette. I don't really use the lipsticks, but I use the eyeshadows on a regular basis. They are perfect for everyday use. They're super pigmented, great pan size, great colors, super versatile. And I just adore this palette. It's definitely a go-to for me. It's been a go-to all year for me, pretty much, or well, soon as I got it. The bonus thing is it does come with lipsticks. I've only used two of them, and the ones that I used were pretty nice, but I haven't used any of the other ones. So I might do another tutorial soon because I feel like a lot of people got this for Christmas. So yeah, but love that one. Makeup Geek Eyeshadows. Now this is just one of my palettes. This is like my go-to neutral kind of palette. And these shadows are amazing. They're super affordable. Of course, in Australia, shipping is can be a little bit pricey depending on how much you buy, but the colors are amazing. I need to go through and work out which colors have been discontinued though, because I feel like some in this palette have. I do have another haul as well that I've got to film and then put away. So this one here is a foiled eyeshadow and the rest are a mix between mattes and shimmers and satins and you know, everything you can think of. Yeah, that's just my neutral shadows 
from Makeup Geek. Okay, so I've got two more eyeshadow palettes. They're both high-end. I've got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. It looks like this. I'm pretty sure when the first pictures of this were released, everyone just went into frenzy. They're like, oh my God, it's so beautiful. And it is, it really honestly is. I have a tutorial and whenever I look at that tutorial, I'm like, damn, those eyeshadows. Uh, it's so, they're just beautiful. They blend amazingly. They're super pigmented. There's just buttery. They're beautiful. Comes with some mattes and shimmers and super blendable. Love this palette. This is the first Anastasia one that I've tried. I do have two others, but I am yet to try them, but I definitely love this. It's worth the money. I am definitely a warm toned eyeshadow kind of girl. Like look at my shadows today. And this is right up my alley. So love it. Next one is one that I've only started using in the last couple of months, but I reach for it all the time. I took it away with me recently and it's the only like I only took this one away with me. It's the Ciate London Pretty Fun and Fearless palette with in collaboration with Chloe Morello. And it looks like this inside. It honestly has like all the colors I could imagine for an amazing palette that I would probably create myself. Obviously I use all of the, the mattes up the top. I mainly go the mattes and then these ones here, to be honest. They're the, they're my go-tos, but I like using, you know, these purpley colors here and there's a, a beautiful bronze if I need it. It's just, they're beautiful. They're so pigmented. The shimmery colors can be a little bit difficult, but you just need to use the right brush and they go on beautifully. I feel like I don't have that many lipsticks and I have mentioned these recently in favorites. Um, I've got the Urban Decay. This is the Revolution lipstick, I think that they're called. And this is in the color Native. This is perfect for everyday use. I just adore this color. I have it in my handbag. I just went and got it out of my handbag for this video. And the same with the next one, which is the Rimmel lipstick in 42. Oh, I think I have 53 as well, which I should have picked up, but I alternate between 42 and 53. Is it 53 or 52? Oh, I can't remember. Love this formula. And the next one is a similar color. It is the Maybelline Color Sensational in Pink Fling 207. I love all these colors and they are very similar, but they're my go-to everyday colors. So I have got the most use out of these lipsticks. There's also a couple of MAC lipsticks that I want to mention. So Cream Cup, Hue, Japanese Maple. They're really nice go-to colors. And also these YSL Rouge Fill Up lipsticks in number one and number seven. Number one, one is the most perfect nude in my life. Like I love this nude. If I want to, I put this on the same page as Milani Luminoso. If I need a nice lipstick, I will go this one. I know it looks good. I know it suits my skin tone. It looks amazing. And number seven, the longevity of these lipsticks isn't that great, but the colors, the formula is amazing. So this is the color that I actually wore on my wedding day. And I love this for wearing to weddings and special occasions when you want like a soft makeup look and you just want like a nice soft muted pink. This is perfect for that. Of course, these lipsticks are super expensive and luxurious, but they're beautiful. <laughs> In terms of liquid lipsticks, I have a lot, but I don't think I found the perfect formula. I really do love the Anastasia Beverly Hills in Stripped. It is a really nice color and also Crush. They're really nice nude colors that go with a lot of stuff. So if I've got an event on or something, I'll wear this. They're not super drying, um, not as drying as like the Kylie lipsticks, lip kits, I should say. And they do last quite well, but you do need to touch up. I really do like the Ciate London formula, but I haven't found the perfect color. Like pinup is super, super lovely, but I feel like there could be like a better color out there for me. <laughs> I think that that's all that I've got for makeup. So I'm gonna jump into some beauty favorites now. So these are literally things that I use every day and I probably mentioned them last year, to be honest. Um, the first thing that I wanna mention is the Flash Eyelash Serum. This helps my lashes grow. I put it on every night before bed. If I use it in the morning, I find that my eyes sting throughout the day. So that's why I use it at night. I haven't noticed any change in my color on my eyes and it does help my lashes grow. So it's great for that. Rose Hip Plus Rosy Poil. Use this every single day of my life, every single night. Um, if I don't use it, I notice a difference and I just love it. It's 
Australian certified organic cold pressed and it's amazing. It's one of the most affordable rosehip oils as well. I get mine from Chemist Warehouse. I really drilled this into you guys that this is amazing and I love it when you guys let me know that you've tried it and you love it as well. I use it as a serum overnight and my skin is amazing <laughs> when I use it. So I do want to mention the Skin Institute range. So this is some moisture defense for oily skin moisturizer. And when I was using this, in combination with the cleanser and this is the eye cream as well that I still use my skin was probably at its best my diet was probably a bit better than what it is now but my skin was at its best when using these products in combination with each other and the rosehip oil so I really want to pick up some more of this and the cleanser because I feel yeah like the results spoke for themselves kind of thing. Every single night I use the Lano Lips uh, 101 ointment in Apple. This has actually lasted me a really long time. I've had it for over a year. If I don't use it, I notice my lips are so disgusting the next day. Some moisturizers for your lips can actually dry them out. Like if I use the EOS lip balm, it makes my lips terrible. It's definitely better to use one with like lanolin in it. Some products are marketed to try and get you to use them, but they're not exactly amazing for your lips. This one I can 100% recommend. A product that I've been a little bit slack in the last couple of months is the Desert Essence uh, Organic Jojoba Oil. I use this as a treatment on my hair and I use it before I wash it. So I usually wash my hair like on the weekend. So I'll put it in in the morning and then leave it on for like half an hour, an hour, and then wash it out. And it's helped my hair grow and be a lot more softer. So would definitely recommend using that as a hair treatment versus purchasing a hair treatment. <laughs> Tanning. Now I've gone through a few different tans this year and one that has um, stuck, I've stuck with is the Bondi Sands in dark. But I did recently in the last maybe since the middle of the year kind of thing, I've been trying this one out and it is my favorite. Um, it's the Latan Self Tanning Foam in Ultra Dark. I know that Bondi Sands released the Ultra Dark, but I prefer this one. The scent isn't as strong. If I'm wearing the Bondi Sands Ultra Dark, I tan in the morning and then I get to home from work or, you know, it comes to dinner time, I reek. Like I absolutely stink and I need to have a shower because I can't stand it anymore. This one's not quite as bad. You, of course, still smell like tan. Um, I do also like the green colored bottle as well. Um, it's like a coconut water one. Just tan two days in a row and then leave it and it lasts really well. It doesn't go super gross and patchy like some other tans can. I want to mention a few lip liners. So I have the Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner. This one's in East End Snow but Addiction is also amazing. Super creamy formula helps um, the lipstick last a lot longer on my lips. And yeah, I just love that one. Another one is the Models Prefer Lip Liner. Now, I love the one in, this one's Infinite Spice, but I love Always Nude. That's the perfect nude color. They have a great range of colors. They're also really affordable, super creamy, and yeah, I just love them. I've got a couple of favorite liners. So I've got the Maybelline Hyper Sharp Wing Liner. This is amazing. Like, I, it took me a while to get used to the new tip compared to the... Master Precise, is that what it used to be called? But I really do love this one, it's amazing. And then also the L'Oreal Little Gel Pot Liner as well. I do love that. Oh, <gasps> another highlight. I forgot about this one because it broke, um, but the Tarte Highlighter and Exposed. I don't know if I can open it. I can, but you can see that it's smashed. But this one, this one and the Becca highlighters, amazing. Forgot about this one because it was sitting out, it's not in my collection because I need to fix it up. I think I've talked enough, so I'm gonna leave it there for now. Hopefully I mentioned everything that's been my favorite this year. Welcome to 2017, I'm so happy to be here. I'm excited to see what is to come in the land of beauty for 2017 because every year just keeps getting bigger and better. Better formulas, better longevity, more color range, more versatile and it's an exciting time to be into makeup. <laughs> so let me know some of your absolute favorites in the comments below. If you think the things that I haven't tried yet, let me know and I'll get onto it. And yeah, that's it from me. Have an amazing day. All the best for 2017. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.